Guys, what's shaking? It's Medic uh, here at the RC Spark Studio. Starting off the new year uh, with an update uh, that people have been asking me to do about Overkill. Now, Overkill is a project I've been working on for about a year, if not a total year already. Uh, and uh, I have a huge 20-part series about how I actually made uh, most of this customized uh, Axial SCX-10 Dingo. That's how it started out. A lot of people actually ask me where I purchased Overkill, and the answer is, is I did not. started off as uh, an RTR. As I said, it was an Axial. Uh, and uh, I basically modified it from that point point forward with different parts, custom made parts, and uh, you know, I know there's a lot of folks that have uh, already been following this build series, so I don't want to, to bore my regular viewers, but for the people that are new, that are just discovering this video and just discovering uh, Project Overkill, I'll do a very brief uh, uh, overview on it, okay? Let's have a closer look. Here we have a 1/8 scale sized uh, GMC top kick body. The only way I could get an 8 scale body onto a 10th scale truck was to elongate the frame, okay? Now don't worry about all these wires. These are actually just hanging down uh, and will be tw uh, twisted up when we're done. But uh, I've been working with the company uh, in town locally called Rude Boys RC Fabrication Shop, uh, a garage that's run by Crazy Joe himself to add an extra couple of inches onto the frame still using 1.9 flat iron tires both front and back these are custom made snow chains I also did a video on that if you guys are looking to do uh, snow chains uh, also the other thing that's uh, unique about this ride is that yes it has two transmissions two motors per transmission with a solid drive line that goes all the way through to the front. This is a waterproof winch control. Uh, either side uh, um, of the overkill body on the chassis goes uh, two uh, three cell LiPo batteries. So a total of six cells uh, to run each transmission along the front. Also some uh, custom made Delrin links so we had quite a bit of lift in here. And of course uh, the aluminum axial links in the back. Now the neat part about overkill if that wasn't awesome enough for you is that I had a young 15 year old uh, fabricator send me this plow shovel that he made as well as a mount that his dad helped him make. Check it out. You can even move it with the servo there. And my friends, this is one of the reasons why I haven't been uh, running the snow uh, plow yet is because we needed a good front mount. Now check this out. Let's get a good look at this. This was made for me by Crazy Joe. Okay, he did this uh, uh, for me over the weekend. He, he said to me, here, here, Aaron, I'm going to need overkill for a couple of days. And I said, I have to let it out of my sight. He said, don't worry, I'm going to take good care of it. And that's exactly what he did for me. Uh, I'm actually still waiting on a few final parts to come in the mail from some other folks. Um, for example, a front bumper, because there's going to be a custom bumper on the front of that as well. Uh, but that just hasn't arrived yet. So we'll do an update when that happens. Um, and check this out. You guys have saw me do this before. Maybe you haven't if you're tuning in. Yes, that looks like it could totally scrape my face. And it would. This is what I would call my Hellraiser tire. Um, these are actually drywall screws that I've put in there taped in there and also used a Dremel to uh, cut the tips off of there. I'm going to be making a few more of these, if not just for the front tire and chains, maybe since it's overkill all the way around. I haven't decided if I wanted to do that with six tires yet, but definitely a must in the ice, even with the chains pushing any kind of heavy wet snow with that plow. Okay, so this is going to be pulling overkill forward instead of just pushing from the rear. Uh, okay, so one of the things uh, you're going to want to see about this mount, okay, is uh, made of three pieces of metal. You can see it was bent over here, uh, uh, totally screwed into the frame on either side for maximum uh, support. Also, we got the plow nice and low, so it's basically even to the ground. And Joe notched it for me, so when we lift that, uh, the servo isn't going to be pushing into the plate at all. So totally 
totally genius. My friends, this is why I've been waiting on overkill because we, we needed a, a lower mount so it didn't push the front of overkill when uh, this had a whole load of snow because it would have just lifted up the front. Even though this is super duper heavy with the batteries on it, snow in, uh, that's wet can be extra heavy. Now, I don't actually have any snow where I live right now. We did for a short time, but we have a warm wind that blows in, melted it all away. I've actually been outside practicing my drifting with my Sprint Flux uh, that I've been doing a conversion on. So, But that's a separate show altogether. I wanted to give you an update on Overkill because I know you've all been waiting for it. You've all been wondering what's Medic doing with Overkill. Um, basically what I'm doing is I'm doing it right. I'm not rushing it for anybody. I love the hobby, but I love doing it right, especially if I'm filming it for you guys. So, um, you know, you got to make sure that when you're putting out a film like this, you want to show folks how to do it the right way. And that's exactly what I'm doing. So, uh, until then, uh, uh, some news on the RC Spark Studio forums. Huge updates have gone on. In fact, we even have a Facebook app right now. If you're part of the Facebook community, uh, you haven't heard about RC Sparks yet, go ahead to the search bar. Uh, go ahead, search uh, RC Sparks Studio Social Network. You will find a very live forum uh, that you can interact with right there. Or if you want to uh, follow more of the videos that I do of RC Adventures, uh, make sure to click the old subscribe button up there. That way you can stay up to date, as well as give the old uh, uh, video a click of the like button. Shows you care shows you support our show and uh, until next time folks have fun out on the trails